So right here on this little rack, I have got every summer dress that I made just this past year. So you guys know we are a season ahead or a season behind, whatever way you want to look at it here in the Southern Hemisphere. We've already been through summer. We're heading into winter now. We're right in the smack bang in the middle of winter. And these are all the summer dresses that I've made that I've loved wearing and I really want to share with you guys. So I will take you through each and every one of them. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dahlia Society. My name's Kristen and today I've got a showcase for you. This here is every dress that I made for last summer. Now, as you guys all know already, I am from Australia and we're from the Southern Hemisphere. We are in the middle of winter. It's freezing out here, but that's not gonna stop me showing you all the dresses that I loved making and wearing for our summer season. And I know you guys are all waiting for a bit of inspiration. If you haven't seen my previous episodes from last year, I did a whole showcase series on my favorite knit dresses for summer and woven dresses for summer. So I'll link those episodes as well. You can always go back and watch those after this episode. If you'd like to do that, it'll just give you a bit more inspiration. And yes, my wardrobe is exploding. It is full of clothes, but I think it's great because it's a way I can use them to hopefully inspire you to go making some summer dresses that you're going to love. Now, before I get started as well, if you're enjoying watching my content, you're loving the episodes and you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you could do that. I am reaching towards my 10K mark and I just think it's a great way to support the channel. If you enjoy what you see here today, a thumbs up would be fantastic and it'll let other people like you find my channel. So let's get started. The first one I want to show you is a wonderful dress from Tazuti and it's called the Eva dress. Now let me stand back and give you a little bit more of a look. It's got a gorgeous lantern shaped skirt. It is actually made of a lot of pieces joined together and it gives it that sculpted effect. So that lantern shaped skirt I think is fantastic and really unusual kind of a structured style. All of these dresses I'm showing you I've done in previous episodes as well and this one in particular I did in conjunction with Jen from Jen's Sewing Room over in the US. She made the sleeveless version but I've opted for the sleeve. Most things you'll see today on me I have made in size 14s or larger. Some even maybe extra large but depending on the uh, fit of the dress mostly they're around 14s so this one has got great inseam pockets and i've got a little slip underneath because it is a bit see-through this kind of white cream color linen but i love the swishiness of it the kind of modern styling of it and i love that it's simple enough to just dress down some little sandals or maybe dress up as well so see what you think it's really fun and unique and I love something a little bit unusual as far as shape goes so let's show you the next dress this beautiful dress was from an Aussie designer called Marsha style Tari Marsh has designed this gorgeous Leela dress if you haven't checked out her other patterns I suggest you go and do that because she's got some gorgeous style dresses there and I think you're gonna fall in love with this it can also be made in a top short dress knee length dress and i've gone for the full long maxi it's giving me all the stevie nicks vibes i can swirl around the garden with it it is absolutely beautiful this is a minerva fabric i did a minerva make and i've got a little blog over on the minerva website if you want to go and check out this fabric as well beautiful soft drapey georgette almost see-through i've got a little slip underneath this too help with that and i just adore these sleeves have a look at them full on statement sleeves beautiful soft v-neck for me i love this neckline but if you want to show a little bit less skin there you can easily pop a little cami and i think even um bringing the neck up a little bit wouldn't be too hard of an adjustment to make but the tie in the back gives you that little bit more shape and the tears got the three tiered skirt and of course you could opt for one to two tiers depending on what you want to go for but I love this maxi length I just think it's one of my all-time favorite dresses for summer that I made every time I wear this color I get a lot of compliments pastel lilac color is just stunning and giving me all those vintage vibes as well so really pretty dress gives you just enough shape to show you a bit of a waistline but also very swishy and boho so loving this dress 
Next, I have this beautiful closet call LED wrap dress. Love this dress. Did have a little bit of trouble with the waist measurements. I needed to grade up a little bit uh, to get that right fit. But watch going up too big in the actual bodice part because you're going to swim in it. I think with that grown on kind of sleeve, it can be a bit overwhelming if you have too much upsizing going on there. So check your measurements, check your finish measurements as well. Um, but this one, I made the 14, graded up to I think the 16, maybe even the 18 in the waist. So that's quite easy to do that. But this beautiful fabric is also from Minerva Fabrics. Now I opted to leave the pockets out. I didn't want too much bulk happening around the hip there, but I just think it's a beautiful style. You can even go for the shorter cut-off sleeve if you want to make a more of a structured, maybe cotton linen, but this beautiful, soft, creepy uh, fabric. It's almost like a linen blend crepe. It's a really unusual fabric, very soft and drapey, and it gives a whole different look to the closet core cool LED dress. So very pretty, very swishy, and very adaptable to a lot of different fabrics too. This is the gorgeous style like pixie woven dress. I actually made this for my frugal frocks dress. I have that episode as well if you want to go back and watch that. That was hosted by Sam from Frugalissima and Ruan from Yorkshire So Girl. And I made it because I had this pattern for free. And as you all know, Starlight Patterns, if you purchase a pattern, you also get to choose a pattern. There are usually two patterns for the month. You can choose either one for free. So I went with this pixie woven dress. And I think it's a beautiful little shift style dress with a lovely little fluted sleeve and a little fluted hem. So I'll stand back and give you a bit more of a look at this one. I actually decided to add a little bit of length to this. I added about 10 centimeters to the length and I'm really happy I did because I've heard it's quite short uh, if you make it up as per the directions on the packet. But if you're happy with that, go with the directions. If you want it that little bit longer, definitely add a bit of length. You'll see the lengthening, shortening line there, quite easy to lengthen yourself. But yeah, I just think hitting on that knee is perfect length for me. This is a beautiful crepe fabric from spotlight about two or three years ago now so I had a moustache so it's come up really nice and fluid. How beautiful is this dress? This is a beautiful wildwood dress from the wonderful So House 7 Pattern Company. Now I love So House 7 patterns. I love their pants. Their free range pants are gorgeous. I've just recently made their Cosmos sweatshirt as well. But this dress it is a stunner. It's a wrap dress. It's quite a high neck wrap. Comes with a beautiful obi style belt pattern. It's worth buying this dress just to get this belt pattern because I love it. I want to make a couple more of these. But normally I don't like pockets. I don't like inseam pockets, but I love these flat kind of front angled seam pockets. I think they're really lovely shape on. And it's a beautiful fitted wrap dress. Now you don't see many of those. A lot of them are A-line or floaty or long. That lovely shape it gives you with a more of a fitted straight line um, wrap dress is a very lovely, unique shape. And the sleeves, I love the beautiful draping around the neckline, the sort of shawl collar. Everything about this dress is just stand out to me. I made it in a size 14 with no alterations. Uh, it does come, I think, in cup size variations as well that you can always look at too. So let me give you a bit of a look at this one. This fabric was sent to me from A&R Fabrics here in Australia. They have some beautiful uh, ICAT, ICAT, however you want to say it, printed cottons, some beautiful linens as well, lovely fabrics, beautiful fabrics and beautiful quality and service there too. So head on over to A&R Fabrics if you want to pick up some beautiful printed uh, cotton fabric like this. It almost feels like a linen. It's got a gorgeous texture to it. It is a really lovely fabric and a beautiful shaped dress to show you that off too. So this is one of my all time favorites that I've made from summer.
This is a standout dress from Designer Stitch called the Valentina dress, and it's a beautiful vintage inspired, I would say 40s nod to it. It is, it's got a beautiful keyhole shaped neckline, gorgeous draped faux wrap skirt, beautiful shaping belt. I'll show you just exactly what I mean by that. You actually make it with the ties all interconnected to the bodice there, and it really helps bring in the shape to give you that little bit of waist. You can either tie it loose like that or in a bow. Has got a zip in the back, but I don't really use a zip to put it on. I can slip it straight over my head, but love the shape it gives. This fabric was from Spotlight. It's a gorgeous uh, silky rayon print, beautiful bird print through it. I just think it's a stunning fabric in that kind of navy and gold, almost oriental Japanese inspired print. But I just think the beautiful, soft, drapey, floaty fabrics look really nice with this Valentina dress. Um, it's one of those standout dresses. I just think it's beautiful. The little sleeve detail there, kind of tulip sleeve shape really unusual and a lot of thought put into the design of this dress too so it's a real winner if you're heading out somewhere and you want to glam up a bit for summer this is a gorgeous dress and i really want to make more of these it's one of those simple style raglan sleeve style dresses with a perfect uh, length sleeve with just enough billowy shape there it has inseam pockets and I decided to put them in because the soft nature of this beautiful silk cotton royal fabric from the fabric store online. This is the Hope Woven Dress from Starlike Patterns. I'll show you. It is absolutely beautiful, simple. Love a little gathered skirt on it. Love the bodice. I love the shape of the face neckline. It's really, really simple and easy to wear. Um, my mum went on to make one of these because she loved it so much. She made it in a rayon crepe, I think. And it's really simple. There's just one little closure at the back. So no need to worry about zips. Fastenings, just one little button there with a loop. Really easy to wear for all seasons. I must say, this is a great one if you want to wear it through winter as well, layered. But for summer, and if you've got a really nice, light, silky, sheer fabric, pop a little slip underneath it, and it'll be the perfect style for you. So. The Hope Woven Dress was one I made for Christmas. I think I, make, uh, I think I may have worn a Christmas here from memory now and really loved festive bright red and just the simple styling of it too. So. Here is another gorgeous So House 7 dress. This is the Tea House dress. Now, I don't know what it is about So House 7, but they get the pockets just so right and such a beautiful shape. Uh, yeah, I don't normally like pockets. I don't normally put them into a lot of my garments, but every time I make one of their garments, I just think they know how to add a good pocket to give you a great shape. Again, fantastic belt. I think about everything there. The OB belt on the gorgeous Wildwood dress is a standout to me, and this, beautiful tea house dress. I'll show you the belt connected to the front, wraps around the back and gives you that beautiful generous tie. The ties are always spot on length for me because I normally find how I make a tie I've got a length in it because I'm a bit thicker around the waist but their ties are always fantastic. And so are the sleeves, the detail on the sleeves, beautiful cuff there, gorgeous shaped neckline. It's quite a simple dress, but really has got all the details that you want to showcase a beautiful fabric. Now, this is a fabric from Minerva again, beautiful tropical print, cotton lawn, love this dress. Wore this around that Christmas week as well, very festive looking fabric. That Christmas time is in the middle of summer, so I think it was perfect for sipping cocktails, if you're going to a party or a wedding, beautiful, bright, fun fabric to wear and a gorgeous style dress. Definitely one I'd love to wear and make. How beautiful are forget-me-not patterns. You've all seen their brand new dresses released. This is one of their earlier patterns called the Lola dress. It has all the drama on the back. So the beautiful frill there. 
This is a really lovely crepe fabric I bought from Spotlight a couple of years ago now and it's a perfect fabric with that bit of drape for making a shift style dress. You can always wear it without the tie. I just think the tie just gives it that nice little bit of shape and it can also be made in a blouse style if you're wanting to wear it with a pair of jeans. It's a great little adaptable, easy kind of style to wear. But the lovely shaping on the back, that beautiful frill, it really makes it well worth it with that detail. I made this right on the tail end of summer as well, so I've got to wear it a couple of times, but it's a beautiful dress and very simple, but just something a bit more unique with that little frill on the back. If there's one dress you could tell me that I would be able to make again, definitely for this summer, I would say the Soda Grow Sydney shirt dress would be a keeper. I love a shirt dress. I don't like making buttonholes, so I think this just solves all the problems having a shirt style dress that camp collar and without the buttons. How fantastic is that? It's got a lovely tie with some shaping there. And I've also made this in the cut off blouse shape as well. So you get to do a bit of experimenting there. I've also seen uh, that Brittany J Jones has made one of these. If you don't know her channel, I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with her, but she has just uh, shown her version of this in beautiful blue print. It looks stunning on her too. So So To Grow uh, do the Sydney shirt dress. They're a great Aussie pat company led by Lindsay Ray, who is a native Texan, and she is loving living here in Australia. And I think her patterns are fantastic and unique and got great instructions too. So I'll give you a bit of a look at this one. This fabric was from Draper's Fabric for their summer range. It's in a lovely cotton poplin fabric, a bit softer than a normal poplin, but really lovely with the little flat pockets. And I just love this style collar. It's got the seam down the front and you can also uh, omit that seam if you want to do it on the fold. Quite easy to do that hack as well, but I think it gives that bit of shaping to the dress and a really pretty fun little pattern to wear for summer. Back again, this time with the gorgeous style like Sydney designer dress. Now this pattern was kindly sent to me by a wonderful viewer called Kerry. Kerry lives in Darwin and she really wanted to see this dress made up. And it's one that I'd looked at for a while and been a little bit intimidated because it looks quite kind of fiddly looking style, a bit more unique style lines. It is a fantastic dress to sew and to wear. It has again got that wonderful kind of lantern-y shaped skirt. The one thing I did find I needed to adjust was to lift my pockets up slightly. They are quite low. And if you're like me and your arms aren't particularly long, you'll be reaching out to put your hands in the pocket. So kind of lift those a little bit, but you don't want to lift them too much because you'll start interfering with that kind of middle section, the way it's shaped. The pockets have uh, been added into that detail to give it that kind of balloony look to the dress. So I love it in this polyester. It's actually a polyester, but it's a beautiful quality from Draper's Fabrics. I think it's called Diva print and last time I looked they still had this fabric on their website it's like a perfume bottle gorgeous print fun very lovely and floaty to wear really nice for going out or just having for casual wear as well I love the banding around the bottom. It's got a little bit of a faced hem just to give you that structured shape to hold it in, hold that shape in and down. And it gives you that volume around the middle there. So not much to do with fitting issue. Don't be put off and daunted by the unique structure of this dress because I think it's well worth making. It is very different and unusual, but I love it. It's a nice, floaty, soft fabric. This is from the Sewing Revival. It's the beautiful, stitch bird dress now i first saw this on alex judge i run alex judge sews she has made quite a few of these now in beautiful linen this linen was uh, sent to me from a &R fabrics again they've got some gorgeous quality linens there all the detail in this dress is not only this beautiful front dart which gives that bit of extra ease it's also in the gorgeous crossover dart back and that gives you a beautiful shape as well Really simple but also really different so I would highly recommend this dress it's a beautiful one to make 
you could do quite a lot with it as far as length goes as well and a really lovely little shape sleeve nice face neck simple and beautiful and very adaptable you could use lots of different fabrics for this a more structured fabric will give you a more kind of shift like shape and a more floaty fabric will give you that kind of billowy easy wear shape This fabric I fell in love with. It's from Potter & Co over in WA and it's a beautiful Turkish viscose print. I straight away, when I bought this, I had this beautiful dress in mind. It's the Victory Patterns Sophia dress. Now I did a couple of little tweaky bits to this dress. I found that when I made it, I actually made the shearing a bit too intense and I ended up taking every second layer out just to give it that little bit more ease. Remember the tighter the tension on your shearing elastic, the tighter your shearing will be. So always have a bit of a play with that, get that tension just right. And I found that the sleeve sat a little bit too far over on my shoulder, of course. I've got sloping shoulders, so anything that relies on that shoulder to stay up, they will just slip straight off. So I added the little pieces here in, there's about three different versions, and one of the versions has got the cap sleeve, which has got a floaty style sleeve. I added the cap to the puff sleeve and I think it really came up beautiful. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I will show you a little twirl in it. I think it sits much more comfortably on me. I'm not constantly yanking up the sleeves. But I really love how that style looks on people. I've seen a lot of people make it. It's just stunning. Just personally for me, it just didn't do me any favors. It was really annoying me. I either like things completely off the shoulder or completely on, not kind of hanging off. So really experiment with that. If you love the Sophia dress from Victory Patterns, have a little bit of a play with the sleeves and get them just perfect for you. And I'm sure you'll be happy with this dress like I am. How cute is this dress? Now this dress was suggested to me from Jen, again in Jen's sewing room. It's the Simplicity 8640. I love this dress and I know she does too because she's just done an episode with about four or five more of these. I'm not sure but I think she could possibly have made around 10 of these I think from looking at her latest episodes but I can see why. It's a beautiful, really unique style. Got that kind of stitch work down the front, that very unusual structured design and the angular hem. The pockets are quite low, so look at that. If you want to raise them, you can do that. Uh, but I love that kind of asymmetric style uh, hem on the skirt. I think it really works well. another one that Kerry from Darwin actually wanted me to make as well so I just had to make it and she was really happy with how it turned out. This is a gorgeous crepe fabric from Spotlight as well. It's almost like a lead light looking design to me it reminds me of. I just love the vibrant bright colours in it but really cool and easy to wear on those hot summer days. Think about getting yourself a rayon or a crepe something light maybe even a chiffon with a little slip underneath something a bit more sheer but it does work perfectly well in things like linen and cotton because I know Jen's made a few in cotton and linen and striped. She's played with the striped lines as well. Um, yeah, because you've got a seam, it's hard to see with the print, but you've got a diagonal seam right here to give a bit of shaping. And the way the pieces are designed, you can really play with things like angular stripes and maybe some checks. You can even do some florals there. So really a fun style. Now, everyone knows I'm a huge indie girl, but I love some of these big four patterns, especially some of the more unusual uh, designs and unusual shapes. So definitely love a bit of both and definitely want to make more of these. I've made another one to show you coming up in a beautiful cotton gauze fabric too. is the same 8640 simplicity and it's got the sleeve added on there same length 
but this time I've done it in a gorgeous cotton double gauze fabric from Fabric Deluxe. Beautiful kind of dark emerald green color. And I've got to say it's sewed up like a dream. I've heard a lot of people complain about cotton double gauze saying it's a nightmare. Don't sew with it, you won't like it. I've got to say it sewed up really nice. So I was really happy with it. And I love wearing it too. It is beautiful and soft and light. I think it's lovely in this style, but definitely want to sew more. Uh, cotton double gauze for next summer but this I just think it's beautiful with that kind of stitch line get a bit of shape there and the angular skirt a little asymmetrical hem is really pretty Who doesn't want a free pattern? This is a gorgeous button dress from Pippermint Magazine. Pippermint Magazine's always commissions a fantastic new designer each time they release a quarterly mag to have one of their sewing patterns. And Lauren from Albert Textiles has designed this button dress. It's got that beautiful dobby texture through the fabric there. Uh, really nice and light to wear for summer. Beautiful to layer as well, and it's a free pattern. So I think from memory, I might have made the size E. Go buy your finished garment measurements to be sure. And yeah, make sure you always look at the bust measurement uh, first because you won't have to worry too much about your hips and your waist with this one. So really simple dress, but for free, I think it's a great pattern to add to the stash for summer. Another great peppermint free pattern. This is the wide strap maxi dress. This is also from Lauren from Albi Textiles Design, this gorgeous dress. This fabric is absolutely beautiful. It's one I've loved wearing for summer. It's giving me all those kind of 70s vintage vibes, this particular dress pattern. And this is near to Hanson cotton linen fabric, which I just adored, especially this color. So I'm gonna show you. It's got beautiful splits at the side. I'll just show you that. It's a beautiful side splits there, not too revealing or high. Lovely pockets. The way the pockets are done on this dress is just really, really beautifully uh, designed. Shoulders, I probably could have taken up a tad. Of course, I always get that shoulder problem with things slipping off. But the back, it's really nice to fit because you've got that elastic, the wide elastic across the back to bring everything in and give you a bit more shape. But love the gorgeous stitching down the front as well. It's a really lovely structure and a perfect dress for showcasing a larger print or a print that's really unique that you don't want to break up as well. So very nice dress this one. I'm really happy I've worn it the heaps this summer. I hope you've enjoyed that today. That was a pretty epic task to get through. I've shown you all of my woven dresses. That's my woven part. Part two is coming very soon and it's gonna be all my knit dresses that I made for summer. It's gonna be huge if I put them all into one episode. Uh, I just think that way it's good to itemize things because I know myself, I'm looking for a particular knit pattern. I like to see all the knit patterns together and it's the way I do uh, categorize my patterns. I run Pinterest as well. I'll put knit dresses together woven dresses together because sometimes it makes it easy to be able to see up front what that fabric is required for what pattern so i hope you've enjoyed watching that today and that hopefully has given you a bit of inspiration for your summer sewing things that you may want to sew that you want to see on a real body things that you've seen on maybe over on instagram and you're not really sure about it's great to see them made up and also hear about things uh, if there's been struggles with some things i've mentioned just about everything there that i've had to either work with or adapt but these are great patterns. I'm sure you're going to enjoy making them for your summer wardrobe over in the Northern Hemisphere. Hope you have a beautiful summer. I hope the sun's out for you and you can enjoy. Make sure you're sun smart, sunscreen, hat, but really enjoy that beautiful warm weather. And I'll see you soon for the next Knit Dress episode. Bye for now.